Well, hello, this is Kelly. I'm the Mathematic Plumber, and welcome to part two of Rainwater Leaders. We're going to be doing some more sizing and introducing some more code requirements. All code references will be made from the National Plumbing Code of Canada, and I'm presently using the 2015 edition. This second example is pretty much exactly the same as the first one, except for I have two rainwater leaders. The math is all the same. I have a 30 meter by 15 meter roof or 450 square meters, multiplied by my rainfall intensity, which is still 28, equals 12,600 liters. But I have two rainwater liters. 12,600 divided by two equals 6,300 liters per rainwater liter. So I go back into table 2, 4, 10, 11, and I go down to 10,800 liters, and I go across and that is four inch. So both of those rainwater leaders need to be four inch. Now, as I go horizontal, I have two little sections of storm building drain. They are both graded at one and 50, but that first little leg only has 6,300 liters going through it. So I look in table two, four, 10, niner. I go down at one and 50 to 10,800. I go across and I find out I need a five inch storm building drain for this little leg here. But off to the right where I have both pipes connected together, I have 12,600 liters. So once again, I go down to one and 50 and I have to go down to 17,600 liters. Across we go and it is six inch. For example three, we're gonna take the exact same building and put an addition off to the side. So we're going to divide this up into three areas here, roof A, sidewall B, and roof C. Now roof A, we've already sized. We still have the same rainfall intensity of 28 millimeters per 15 minutes. The roof is 30 meters by 15. If we do the math on that, which is 30 times 15 times 28, we get 12,600 liters draining down that rainwater liter. We've already looked that up. That is supposed to be a five inch rainwater leader, just like the other example. As it turns and becomes the storm building drain, we've already figured that out to be six inches. However, now we have another rainwater leader that's coming down. Let's size the rainwater leader that's on roof C. First, let's look at roof C. Roof C is 10 meters by 30 meters with one roof drain. 10 times 30 is 300 square meters times the rainfall intensity of 28 equals 8,400 liters. But that's not all that's going to drain down that roof drain there. We have a sidewall there. And when we're having a torrential downpour, it tends to come in sideways. So we're going to get a bunch of rain bouncing off that sidewall. Now, as directed by 24104 in the plumbing code, when we have a sidewall like this for a roof drain, we need to take 50% of the liters that we would typically calculate. So let's look at this. We have eight meters times 30 meters, which is 240 square meters, times the rainfall intensity of 28 millimeters, which equals 6,720 liters. But we're only gonna take 50% of that because it's the sidewall. So I could divide that number by two and I get 3,360 liters. So in order to figure out what is actually gonna drain down the rainwater leader at C, I need to take the roof area for C and the leader load, which is 8,400 like we calculated, and add it to the sidewall leader load, which is 3,360 liters. That is 11,760 liters. Back into table 2, 4, 10, 11 for the rainwater leader, I have 11,760. So I have to go down till I get to 19,500 liters. I go across and I need to be five inch. And now I have the rainwater leaders converging together and I have a storm building drain, which is still graded at one in 50. But now we have to combine everything that's draining down the drain pipe at A and C together. So that was 12,600 liters plus 11,760 liters equals 24,360 liters. Let's go back into table two, four, 10, nine. Let's go down the one in 50 column. If I stop at six inch, that's only good to 17,600 liters. It's not quite enough. But if I go down one more, that one is good to 37,800 liters. And that is an eight inch 
storm building drain. That's what we're going to use. Well, we've come to the end of the video, and I hope this is making sense to you. We have another video upcoming for rainwater leaders, so stay tuned for that, and you have yourself a good day.